Unguard. Welcome back to my kitchen. Where today, I have long, sharp objects. I planned that. Today is a great day. Hey, no, I didn't plan those. Peanut gallery. Today is a great day, okay? Just like recent episodes, it is blazing hot outside and I'm in the mood for some summer grubbing, all right? And part of summer, I'm gonna keep doing this. Does that make you nervous? It's really fast. Look, look, I'm gonna stab my hand. Whoa, demonetized. Part of summer grubbing is getting out by the grill and uh, whatever you're eating, just cook it on an outside grill and then it's, then it's summer of five. And that's what we're doing today, okay? Because we are gonna make ourselves some kebabs. That is why I have these uh, kitchen swords, as I like to call them. Ow, cut myself. We are gonna be making some delicious kebabs. I'm not making one kebab. I'm making two kebabs, two different types of kebabs. Uh, one is gonna be just like a classic American kebab with some bell peppers, red onions, and some tofu, uh, especially marinated tofu. And then the other is gonna be a Thai kebab with uh, some tofu as well, different type of tofu actually, some eggplant, and perhaps some pineapple if I'm feeling like it when I get to that step. Up in the air right now, we'll see how, I, how it goes, all right? Uh, but the important part is that we get our asses outside before it gets too hot, okay? Because it is the early part of the day and we are trying to beat the sun. So we need to get to it, boys, girls, non-binary pearls of people. I don't know, that was cut, cut. So we will, Put our swords away for now, and we gotta get our tofu. So these are the two different types of tofu right here. This is the tofu I usually cook with. It is high protein, and it is actually pretty well pressed out of liquid when you first buy it. I like this type. And then this is a puffy soybean cake, or just a, just a kind of a puffy Asian style tofu that has already been sort of semi-prepped in a way that we want them. So I'm using these for the Thai skewers or kebabs, and this is gonna be for our regular, boring, good old-fashioned American ones. Why is there a fly in here? So the recipe for the uh, American ones, or just like regular ones, I guess they're not American, they're Mediterranean, right? This is like, this is not even American. What am I saying? Kebabs are, they're not, yeah, anyway. So th this is, I just mean like, kind of kebabs as, as you would find them when you see a kebab on a menu most times, right? This is, but I think it's Mediterranean. Uh, you can add and mix and match all different type of vegetables for these kebabs, but I am going with two different colors of bell pepper for color and flavor, and some red onion pieces along with the tofu, and that is gonna be on the basic kebab. Uh, for the Thai kebabs, I'm gonna be using eggplant emoji, as well as maybe pineapple, see how I feel. We're gonna do a little uh, little video magic here, okay? So, imagine that there's a container in this hand, okay? You're gonna pour some olive oil, soy sauce, garlic powder, sea salt, black pepper, liquid smoke, apple cider vinegar, and then you're gonna pop this in here. <laughs> you're gonna pop this in there, so now they're all marinating, except you already cut up the tofu, and you're gonna put a little time machine action on that. And what you're gonna end up with is this beautiful bag of marinated tofu. It actually looks and smells delicious. This is what it's gonna look like. Uh, I did this yesterday, I didn't film it, I, I'm dumb. So this is, this is what the goal is here. So you can put this marinade together and chop up your tofu and marinate for like two hours, that's fine. I marinated it overnight, okay, because I had the time. I had the wherewithal to plan it. So this is what our tofu looks like. It's actually dripping, which is why I put it in the bowl outside the bag. Uh, but the color is really nice. You can actually kind of tell. It looks like they've been through and through marinated, nice and seasoned. And like I said, it smells really good. So this is the end goal for the tofu. You wanna press the tofu, dry it out as much as you can, chop it into pretty big squares, and uh, get it in this marinade and let it sit. 
So, we have some vegetables to chop. Let's get to chopping. Uh, I'm gonna do this last. I don't know how to chop that. First, we'll do with uh, what, what we know and what we've done, which is bell pepper. I'm gonna cut this down the middle and grab the stem off because we don't need that. Uh, the goal here is to make sizes of vegetables that would fit perfectly on skewer. I think these sizes are about good, right? They're not too big, but they're also not gonna be like so small that they fall off once they get pierced by the sword on my hip. All right, so that is the green one. Now we'll get going with the orange one. Orange, you glad I didn't say kebab? Just cutting and cutting. All right, these are done. We're gonna move them to the side of the cutting board. And now it's time for our red onion. So usually I would cut a red onion probably nice and diced up and small because we're cooking with it uh, in a dish where we need to, you know, have it on a pan. But this time, no. These guys get to live and breathe. I don't know how to do this. How do we cut these? Maybe we just cut the stems off and like peel them. That could be a move. Oh yeah, there we go, perfect. So we'll take like these pieces and these are like perfect kebab sizes. Oh my God, everything is working out so great. Okay, get rid of that, that's too small. You have to be this high to ride the kebab ride. I mean, tall, you don't have to be high. You can't ride the ride if you're high. Okay, cutting that one, cutting that one, cutting the ends off, everything's fine. I feel great, how do you feel? Okay, onions are done. Now it's the scary part. How do we do this? First of all, guys, you know what? Give me some space here. I'm just pretending I work at Benihana and then hopefully it turns out good. Can we use the middle? No, the middle's bad. I really hope these aren't too thick. Okay. These look like good sizes of eggplant, I think. When you're an eggplant. We're gonna use that later, I'm not washing it. Okay, I think this is enough eggplant emoji. That's done. Okay, so now we have to assemble our bad boys. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our tofu that has been marinating. I'm gonna drain this real quick. Don't go anywhere, I promise I'll be back. I'm not just going to the store for cigarettes and then never coming back. I'm, I'm here. Boom. All right, so we have our tofu looking delicious. So delicious. So we're gonna go stab. Oh, be gentle with this because the tofu might be a little finicky. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Before we do that, shit, I forgot. I forgot, we need to make a little bit of marinated. Get out of here, fly. We need to make a little bit of marinade for our vegetables. So we're doing a little, I just said leave. Get out of here, get out of here, go. Why are there flies in here? All right, a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of soy sauce. What else do we need? This episode is already a shit show and it's fine. A little bit of liquid smoke, apple cider vinegar, a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of pepper. We can't put our vegetables on the skewers when they're completely plain. We need to have them at least touch a little bit of marinade. Okay, so in this bowl, we take our bell peppers, red onions, stir this marinade up, a tiny whisk, and let's get the vegetables nice and coated. Beautiful. You don't need these to marinate. Vegetables um, will be much easier to have the flavor kind of rub off on them with just a little bit of mixing and tossing. Whereas the tofu, you need to kind of let it sit. Let the tofu think about what it's done, okay? Now, it is assembly time for our skewers. So we get these 
beautiful skewers put together and then uh, moving on to the Thai kebabs and then we're going outside. All right, we have our beautiful skewers ready to go outside. These honestly look delicious. I don't know how they could ever turn out bad. Anyway, now we are on to our wonderful, delicious Thai skewers. Uh, the ingredients you're gonna need for this is just a nice little array of peanut butter, soy sauce, lime juice, sambal, ginger, garlic, a few other things. And the goal here is to get all of this coated. It doesn't need to be marinated. It needs to be coated in this sauce mixture, whatever you wanna call it. So I say we just get the sauce going. Peanut butter first. I should get a little spat, a little spatula, okay? You can also water this down as much as you'd like. Soy sauce is in, a little bit of lime juice, a little bit of uh, sesame oil, agave. Never mind, that's agave. <laughs> Looks like sesame oil. You can use sesame oil if you want. It's basically the same thing as agave, trust me. I'm a chef. A little bit of uh, garlic. And this is rice vinegar. And then probably my favorite ingredient in my entire pantry, sambal alec. And lastly, you're just gonna put a whole chunk of ginger just like in it. Just kidding, you gotta chop it up. I didn't chop it up, I wasn't prepared. I didn't do my homework. And the teacher forgot to collect it. So if any of you remind him to collect the homework, you're on the Dunzo list. Don't remind the teacher to collect the homework when they forget, okay? Party foul. All right, I'm just gonna quickly mince up some of this ginger. Quickly mincing is the best way to mince, okay? Quick activity. Again, this is just a little sauce mixture slash marinade. You're not gonna actually eat the ginger, so it doesn't need to be perfectly fine. Although you look perfectly fine today, if I do say so myself. Let's stir this up. I don't know how to really, maybe I'll get the whisk. I just sprayed it everywhere. Get the whisk. Peanut butter is not an ingredient I'm used to whisking, but it seems to be all kind of meshing together. This is actually working. All right, yeah, so definitely whisk this. This is pretty cool. It's fully turning into a Thai peanut sauce. I'm so happy, holy crap. So, there are two methods to doing this. You can assemble the skewers and then paint painstakingly paint the sauce onto the skewers, or you can just toss all the stuff in the sauce and then put it on the sticks. And that's what we're gonna do. These are huge pieces of tofu. I'm gonna cut them in half. So, how was your day? Mine was good. All right. And I decided I am gonna use some pineapple, even though it's a little old. <laughs> it's got some wisdom to it. It's been around. We're gonna add our pineapple to our sauce mixture, add our tofu to our sauce mixture, and lastly, add our eggplant. I know the recipe I chose actually calls for squash, but I squashed that out of the recipe because squash. Yeah, I said it. I said it, I don't care. So now you're gonna wanna take a spatula or get your hand really dirty and mix together our beautiful ingredients. This is already making me so hungry. I can't believe how good this looks. Oh my God. I love me some Thai anything, literally anything. Beautiful, so beautiful. Yeah, you thought I was done, huh? Got an uppercut, uppercut. All right, all right, I'm sorry. It was just a practice move, all right? I wasn't actually doing it. Okay, so we're gonna clean off our cutting board and it is time to assemble. Skewers, numero tres y cuatro, we begin. Here we go. We have our four beautiful, beautiful kebabs. Our two Thai kebabs and our two regular kebabs all ready to be smoked, well, grilled. So let's go outside. All right, at the count of three, it will be complete magic. 
we are gonna teleport outside and hopefully there won't be a mid-roll ad that YouTube placed on my video without telling me like there has been for the uh, last couple of weeks that I had no idea about until recently. So we'll see you outside in a sec. Complete magic, we're outside. We have our exciting, delicious skewers. I'm not gonna lie, these are making me real hungry. These just look so delectable, completely covered in just a delicious marinade, good old fashioned kebab. And then the Thai kebabs look exceptional because I'm a sucker for anything Thai. Like I said, I love Thai food. So we have like a nice peanut sauce on the Thai kebabs with some eggplant, some, what is it called? Pineapple, that's the name of it. And we're gonna chuck them on the grill. Right now the grill is uh, around 300. We wanna grill these at least above 450. Oh, hello. Come here. <gasps> Peach. <laughs> I wasn't talking to you. I was, <laughs> I was talking to the big dog. Bunny, come here. Come here, bunny. My pet dog is a kangaroo. Sorry about that. Bunny, hi. Hi, baby. Come here. Do you want to be in the video? Welcome to Bunny and Julian Grillin'. <laughs> Good girl. She likes how it smells. It's not for you. It's not for you. You can counter surf, but you can't eat it. Anyway, there's not a whole lot to do. That's a giant beetle above me. Everything's fine. Oh, the great outdoors. You can literally hear that thing. All right, whatever. Let's get to grilling these. There's really not much to be said. We did the bulk of the work already. Now it's time to just get go into dad mode and grill these suckers up. What do you say, son? Did you grow that stash yourself? Nice kebab you got there. No. Uh, let's grow. <laughs> Please cut. All right, well, we have retrieved our wonderful Thai peanut kebabs. The backs are a little bit charred, but I don't care. I'm all about crispiness and getting them a little overcooked. I think they look pretty damn good to me, but we're still waiting on our other kebabs to finish up. In fact, I think they might be done. What do we think? Maybe a couple more minutes. This tofu is just a little more dense and um, takes a little longer to cook than the Asian tofu or the soybean cake. Where are you going? All right, well, see you later. Big gulps, huh? We done, baby. These are looking so nice. Ooh, how you doing? Okay. We got some kebabs. Pika bob. All right, so the first one we're gonna try is our Thai kebab. I'm gonna slide a little piece of tofu off, take a bite. Hold up, that's delicious. It's got like the smokiness of the grill, but it has the flavor of a Thai dish. I love that so much. <coughs> it's got a little heat to it too, pineapple. Mm hmm You know, I'm not like a pineapple on pizza type of guy, but I'm not opposed to having some fruit in my in my dishes. Eggplant. Maybe could be a little more cooked, but still good. Edible. That's what we're going for. Edible. We're playing limbo and the bar is up here. But no, the tofu and the sauce, the Thai sauce really turned out great. It really gives off an entirely different flavor than you would expect from a regular traditional kebab. Well done literally and figuratively really really love this dish and it's healthy usually my dishes have no calories this one actually has negative calories because of the workout you get when you practice your sword fighting when you're building the kebabs now on to these bad boys these look delectable i'm gonna take a little sandwich of bell pepper onion and tofu make a little sandwich take a little bite Um, that's amazing. That tofu tastes insane. Okay, definitely marinate your tofu for 24 hours. It makes a huge, huge difference. The flavor's off the charts here, okay? Off the charts, like I'm talking flavor town. Yeah, yeah, guy, I'm talking to you. There's literally, it's like there's no 
bland texture anywhere. Everything is crisped up, flavored completely, charred. I'm so happy right now. I can't believe I did this so well. I turned weapons into something beautiful. I hope you learned your lesson today. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. I hope you um, enjoyed watching me do this. This is a really, really fun recipe. It's easy. If you have a grill, go outside and do it. If you don't, you can bake them in the oven. Why is that beetle still here? I love the outdoors. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Not your kebabs. No bee. Okay, I'm getting, I'm getting uh, kicked out. I think he has a time slot to film here next. Uh, I, I think it's time to, to run very far away. So thank you guys for joining me. I hope you enjoyed watching me do some summer shit, making kebabs. Uh, definitely recommend both of these. Honestly, if I were to pick, weirdly, I would pick these ones. I would pick against the Thai in favor of the traditional, uh, I guess, Mediterranean kebabs. But the Thai ones are great and they hold their own. And if you're in the mood for that like peanutty flavor, go for that, okay? Now, if you don't mind, I will require my weapon back.